Oh, hi. Welcome to Filmmaker IQ's video basement. Today we're going to be reviewing the Sackler Zoom Tripod. What makes the Sackler Zoom Tripod so unique is its modability. At the heart of the system are these regular old standard Sackler legs. These legs are appropriate for about 85% of the shooting that you, you probably encounter. At the lowest setting, it's the perfect height for a sit-down interview. At the highest setting, it's just right, just the right eye height for a standing and talking interview. Now you can drop in a center post, like I have here, and this tripod becomes a high pod. At the highest setting, you're looking at about 88.6 inches off the ground. And during a test at a middle school, I was on the gym floor and about a foot or two off from the basketball rim. Need something a little bit lower? This mid-level spreader actually comes off with the removal of a couple of pins and becomes its own little baby tripod, getting you about eight and a half inches off the ground. Yeah. Remember that center post we dropped in the tripod for that high pod? Well, it in itself is its own very, very own monopod. The monopod comes with complete with a little foot brake that comes out that creates a little anchor. You put your foot on that tab and it creates an anchor that allows you to make smooth hands. Now the monopod is very useful in, situ in those situations where you just can't drop a pair of sticks on the ground and go. Um, you say you're shooting a concert or, some, or even a sports event where you have to be constantly moving. Shooting monopod is kind of a new experience for me, but there's some really kind of interesting techniques and I'm just starting to explore them myself. Including some neat little jib, jib action Dutch angles, some little short, uh, short dolly maneuvers, and a lot of cool stuff that I just don't know what they're called yet. This particular tripod came with the FSB6 tripod head. Now this Sackler Zoom system can fit any Sackler tripod that has a 75mm bowl. And I'm not quite entirely sure, but it probably would fit other tripod, other brand heads as long as they're 75mm. Now one thing I'm not too crazy about, I'm going to disassemble it. See the head comes off less like that. Not too crazy about this little plastic ring right here that holds the tripod head. So something you're going to be regularly removing and reinstalling, it's a little bit on the flimsy side. Now Sackler Zoom it really is about as stable as you expect it. Even at its full extended height, it's pretty stable and you've got an extra brake on the bottom of the center post to keep it from rocking. That said, it's a little, you know, at the very high, it's, it's a little bit, it sways a little bit left and right, but that's okay because as long as you have a nice fluid head on there, you'll never see that little bit of sway. Now there's a lot of neat little engineering features that go into the Sackler tripod and we don't have time to, in this review, to talk about all of them. So I invite you to check out our full review over at FilmmakerIQ.com. Now Sackler Zoom tripod is one of the neatest little tripods that have come out on the market in a long time. And it's a very versatile tripod. If you need to get really high, get above the audience, get above the crowd, it's a great tripod for that. If you need to get really low, in fact, the last uh, film shoot I did, I kept, I, I'm a person that loves low angles, so I kept trying to get lower and lower, and I kept hitting the bottom of the, the tripod that I was using. To have someone like this on, on the set would have been a real dream, okay? Now, all this flexibility does come at a price. Now, the legs, the center post, and the mid-level spreader are running about a $2,000 package. You add on a nice fluid head like this one, and you're looking at probably between $2,500 and $3,000. Now, that's a lot of money to spend on a tripod system, and that's comparable to spending that much on a prosumer camera like this Sony HD AX2000 here. But it is, it is worth it in the long run. It is an investment. And what I mean by that is this tripod will outlast this camera. This tripod will be used again for the next camera you own, and the camera after that, and the camera after that. These things are built to last forever. So it's definitely worth the investment if you're a serious filmmaker, if you're serious about becoming a filmmaking professional. A good solid tripod like this is definitely worth the investment. I am John Hess. Thank you for watching our Filmmaker IQ review of the Sackler Zoom tripod. See you next time.